Hey guys, Chris here with another mask unboxing. This is a mask from Larsh Mua FX. He is a makeup artist for Hollywood for Halloween Horror Nights. So pretty excited to see this one. He has an Etsy page. He also sells direct on Facebook. Um, I think he tries to sell more direct on Facebook just to avoid all the Etsy fees. But he can be found on Etsy if you're not the uh, messenger type for ordering things. He shipped it out nice and quick. And let's see what we have here. Ooh. Nice and green. I don't know where he found green bubble wrap, but he sure did. This is a custom alien mask. Let's get the box out of the way. Latex mask. Oh, this guy looks good. It is blacklight reactive. Very nice. This mask, I think, was about $80, $85. Not bad at all. This will be in our fun house section of the haunt this year. It goes down just far enough. Uh, I've got a uh, kind of a robe, a shiny metallic silvery robe I'll be wearing. So that should cover up the neck nicely. I like the paint job on this guy because he's got the detail, but obviously in the dark you're going to lose some of the detail, so he really highlights it with the paint. And it's blacklight reactive, so this thing should really pop in the uh, scene we're going to have it in. To go along with this, I picked up a neat little device off of Amazon. You probably saw these in stores. It's a Forum Novelties Voice Disguiser. So my idea is we're going to have the alien and he's going to have a little voice disguise thing going on. So let's see, we'll pop this open. Let's see if I have a 9 volt battery. Open this up. This little microphone there should be able to hide this somewhere in the mask. Got a clip on it. I'm not sure how the clip will be helpful, but... <laughs> the rest of this is the entire speaker box. There we go. So it looks like... Uh, doesn't really say what they're going to sound like, but we'll play around with it. Movable clip. Nice feature. Could make it easy to break, but we'll see. Screwdriver attack. Kind of like and dislike when you've got the screw for the battery door because you need to change it in a hurry and now you need the screwdriver. It's also not going to fall apart and go anywhere. That's interesting. Works though. Not going to short out. So I'm supposed to remove that. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, great. Seems securely plugged. Also, if you happen to lose that screw, you know, on a dark night during a haunt, <laughs> now you're out of luck. Unless your electrical tape is shut, so. Not a huge fan of the screw door, but eh, not a deal breaker. Not super sturdy, but it should work. Uh-oh. Well. And nothing. Test, test. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's another on-off. There we go. Oh, that's pretty neat. Sounds like one of the Star Wars aliens, doesn't it? Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Take me to your 
that either. Yeah, that is pretty neat. So I'll have this hidden somehow up in the mask. The actor will be able to talk. See, it looks like you can get if you put this. You need now. Uh, you need to talk pretty directly into it. So we'll see if we can't position this inside the mask somehow. Let the actor use it. This will be a cool little effect. Probably, hopefully, they'll have a shirt pocket they can clip this on underneath the cloak. A little sensitive to impact, but in the mask, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So, there we go. That is a Larsh Mua FX mask. I'll post a link for the Etsy down below. And a Forum Novelties Vice Book Guide.